Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. And in this video, we're going to do a detailed FAQ on the new Moto G 5G. So Moto G 5G is the latest uh, smartphone announced in India with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G. And uh, this comes uh, with a pretty good hardware and the pricing is at 20 990 that's surprising and uh, let's see uh, the detailed aspects of this device we have been getting a lot of questions on this device so let's see how good the device is and uh, what are the features it offers and we'll do a detailed faq just like any other smartphone we do so let's get started so if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so first step let's have a look at the build quality now this device uh, is made of plastic or other polycarbonate material. The build quality as such looks uh, pretty sturdy. It, you can see that the polycarbonate material on the back panel looks sturdy and the overall finishing also looks quite good. Uh, you can see that the side panel also is pretty sturdy. You can see that it's not a, a bending or flexing uh, kind of uh, design but overall the solid build quality. So Moto uh, devices are def generally known for quite good build quality and this is no different. So overall we feel it's kind of thicker device compared to other uh, smartphones uh, in this price segment but uh, definitely sturdy build on the Moto G 5G. Now talking about the display. So this device has a, a 6.7 inches uh, full HD LTPS uh, display. You can see that the display quality looks definitely good. It's an HDR10 enabled display so you can uh, uh, get pretty good dynamic range while watching movies. This is not an AMOLED panel, it's an LTPS IPS LCD panel and uh, quite good uh, in terms of touch response too. It's a pretty smooth display. Now regarding the glass protection, nothing is mentioned as such uh, about the glass protection. We have uh, uh, asked the company for a clarification on that. Uh, if we get uh, any details, we'll update in the comment section. But as of now, uh, we don't have any information on uh, any Gorilla Glass or any adder protection on this uh, device. Now next uh, let's talk about the sim card so we have uh, uh, the sim card slot on the left side so there is uh, one uh, SD card slot as well but there is no dedicated SD card slot uh, we have to live with either one sim card and one SD card or two sim cards because you do get 128 gigabyte storage with this device so that means uh, you are fairly well equipped in terms of the storage aspect so that's uh, the storage and SD card support now next uh, let's talk about uh, the ram offered so this device uh, comes with just one variant there is six gigabyte ram being offered and uh, just 128 gigabyte storage so six 128 is the basic variant so no other variants are available so that's the uh, storage aspect now talking about the software so moto devices have the stock android so you can see here this is again uh, the stock android experience no third party apps uh, and uh, it's very basic ui you get and uh, if you look at uh, the settings uh, you can see that this is more or less stock android and uh, this runs on android 10 so uh, unlike uh, uh, the other uh, customizable uis so moto is offering something called as uh, my ux so the Mo my moto uh, rather the moto app provides personalization you can uh, change the layout you can see just as supported uh, q capture pickup to silence then peak display attendee display all those things are included here and you can see that some audio effects are also there so it's a quite a good uh, ui in terms of the my ux feature being offered by moto so uh, even though it's a stock android you do get some basic options uh, for customization on this uh, device now talking about the performance, so this device is uh, powered by the uh, Snapdragon uh, 750G Octa-Core processor. This is the first device in India with the 750G and you can see the benchmark score, the CPU score, the GPU score and uh, the memory and the UX score. So it's a quite good device, it's comparable to the Snapdragon 765G and uh, this is a pretty good device overall. Now we have done a detailed gaming test of this device so gaming performance uh, looks quite good uh, you may not get higher graphic options but for whatever it offers it uh, offers a good uh, experience overall no heating happening and overall experience uh, with uh, the graphic quality there's no lag and uh, frame skips aren't uh, are too evident so overall gaming experience definitely looks good it's a big display so gaming experience is definitely good on this device. Now talking about the LED notification so we're just connecting this device to the charger and you can see that there are no LED notification included so that's uh, the, you can see that the turbo charging uh, included here but no LED notification available on this uh, device so that's the LED notification aspect now next uh, USB OTG is supported because uh, most of the devices now has USB OTG support so this device also comes with USB OTG support now next the fingerprint scanner support so we have a back mounted fingerprint scanner we'll just test the fingerprint scanner experience so you can see here 
so it may not be the fastest out there you can see here it's quite uh, responsive but it does take a while uh, to recognize it there you go now let's uh, have a look at the face unlock so there you go so again it may not be the fastest out there again it works quite well so that's the face unlock now let's talk about the sensors available on this device so uh, we have installed the sensors app so you can see here it comes with accelerometer magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity uh, so all the basic sensors are included nothing is left out accelerometer uh, magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity so all the sensors are included on this uh, device We're talking about the camera so this device comes with a 48 megapixel primary camera and then we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel macro sensor led flash included f 1.7 is aperture and you get a uh, 16 megapixel selfie camera now we have done a detailed camera review of this device you can also check out that video to see how good the experience is here are some camera samples you are taken with uh, the moto g 5g uh, to get an idea about uh, the performance so overall the camera performance looks pretty good the night mode uh, or other than low light experience uh, should be slightly improved and the uh, video recording also could have been a stat better but otherwise uh, this device has pretty good uh, overall experience uh, with the cameras now battery life and uh, charging time uh, so this device uh, takes around uh, uh, 2 hours and 15 minutes for charging uh, using the 20 watt charger so it's not the fastest out there but uh, it does take some time 2 hours uh, 15 minutes is what it took we have also done a detailed charging test you can check out that now battery life is really good uh, you can get like 8 to 9 hours of screen on time easily on this device uh, it has a 5000 mAh large capacity battery and it's a battery efficient device so no issues on that front now next uh, let's talk about uh, the widevine l1 support so you can see here widevine l1 is supported so we have the drm info app and the widevine l1 is supported now uh, talking about the gcam that's something which uh, many ask so you can see here uh, we'll just reduce the brightness so you can see here the level 3 support that means um, uh, gcam has full support on this uh, device now voice over wi-fi you can uh, actually see that this device has voice over wi-fi and voltage support and 4g and even 5g support now if you're wondering which all bands are supported in the 5g here is the list of all the bands uh, which are supported uh, uh, by uh, the moto g 5g it supports all the bands uh, uh, which are, uh, might come in india so it is uh, like a future proof device with almost all support uh, for all the bands now colors uh, there are two colors uh, we have the the grayish color and there is also a silver color so those are the two colors available and uh, pricing is 20 triple nine and uh, this uh, will be available exclusively on flipkart and uh, these are the two colors available just one variant six gigabyte ram and uh, 128 gigabyte internal storage now we'll also uh, show you the speaker test of this device so we'll just uh, increase the volume and then we'll just show you this uh, sound So it's a single speaker on this device at the bottom firing speakers so it's adequately loud and the sound quality also looks quite good uh, there are no dual speaker uh, speakers available but uh, still it does a decent job all together so that is the detailed faq on the moto g 5g hope this clarifies all your doubts uh, you might be having with the device if you still have any questions you can drop uh, a comment in the comment section and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries so that's it for this video this is rumor signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day